Hello and welcome to Let's Dance Swing. My name is John Hill and my co-host today is Stephanie. We're going to be going into a couple of different aspects of swing dancing. First, we're gonna start off with a couple basic turns and lead into a alternating turn. And you'll see what I mean by that in just one second. And actually, it's very easy. Just follow one, two, three, four the step patterns and you'll be able to dance with us in no time at all. We're gonna start off with the basics. Gentlemen using your left foot, ladies using your right foot. We're gonna do four steps. It's very important just to shift your weight. So we're gonna do one, two, and then we're gonna do our three, four, which is a back rock. So gentlemen using your left foot, ladies using your right foot, step back behind you, but try not to put down your heel, shift your weight for the four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is single step swing jitterbug or just plain swing depending on where you're from and we are going to be using this step the whole time through so make sure you're comfortable with it so gentlemen you're using your left foot to start off with ladies you're using your right foot to start off with we're doing four basic steps we're doing one two and then three four one two three four one two three four you want to keep your steps small as small as possible and when you're going back with your left foot, gentlemen, try not to touch your heel. Ladies, when you're going back with your right, try not to touch your heel. It'll keep your body towards your partner. First thing we're going to do, gentlemen, is we're going to use that step that we just went over our basic step. We're going to lead our partner, your partner, my partner, Stephanie, through an underarm turn. This is done, gentlemen, by using your left hand. We're going to do our four basic steps. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. So as soon as I put down my right foot for the four and she puts down her left foot for the four, we're about to start in that underarm turn. Gentlemen, I'm going to use my left hand. Ladies, you're going to follow with a little bit of attention here and here. I'm going to lead my partner, Stephanie, in an underarm turn towards my left side. So I'm going to lift up my arm for the one. She's going to walk through for two. And then I'm going to bring down my arm, and we're going to both do a back rock. So if we were to do this all together, it would look like this. It would look like one, two, back step, one, two, back step. So as you notice, when you're leading your partner through, ladies and gentlemen, the ladies, you should walk through. Don't try to spin in front of your partner because it actually makes your feet get off time. So one more time. We're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now we're going to finish that out with a turn that's actually the reverse of that. So once I lead Stephanie through, I'm going to bring her back around the same way she got into it. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, around, two, three, four. Now we're back together. And this is an open position. And again, we're doing swing or jitterbug or single step swing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna work off of that. The idea is using that underarm turn. We are now going to alternate our rock steps. When you're dancing with your partner, in this fashion or in the swing position, you're always going to go back on your left, gentlemen. Always, when you're in this position. What we're going to change, though, is we're going to change the position. I'm going to lead my partner through, and I'm going to stop her. And then bring her around that last turn. Now, how I did that, we're going to go back and explain that in just one second. The first thing we're going to do, gentlemen, is make sure that the underarm turn and you and your partner are in line. What I mean by that is right here, you want to make sure that your partner's on your left. If she is not on your left, it's going to be rather difficult because she doesn't have anything to walk towards so you can stop her. For instance, if I were to lead Stephanie into a twirl or a spin, it would just be right here. And she's right in front of me and it won't work. And that was very uncomfortable, it was wasn't awkward. it? awkward. Exactly. So do not use force, gentlemen. You're just allowing the lady to walk through just like a door. So it's going to be one, two, back step, around, two, back step. So now, gentlemen, when your partner's here in the L-shaped position or she's facing you, you're facing her, she's on your left side, you want to lead your partner through by using your left hand. She's going to follow with her right hand. You are now going to alternate your back rock. So gentlemen, this is where you're going to use your right foot to go back on. What I mean by that is I'm going to lift up my left hand, do this very slowly, lead her through. As she comes through, she is now going to go back on her left. I'm going to go back on my right. Then I'm going to lead her back through, and I go back to my left. And then I step, and I go back to my right. 
feed her through and she's back on her right. So we're alternating. So you only have time for one step. So if you were to count this out, from the back rock, it would be back rock one, back rock one, back rock one, back rock one, back rock. Now actually I'm stepping through with my right foot, but the idea is I'm still keeping time. So if you cho choose to do a back rock with your left and your right, that's fine. If you choose to do a back rock with your left and step through with your right, you can do that also. That's what I'm doing actually. So here we go. One, two, back step. One, two, back rock. One, back rock. One, back rock. One, back rock. One, back rock. Another important feature that you cannot see, so I'm going to turn around so you can see it, is I'm stopping my partner with my right hand, gentlemen. So as I lead Stephanie through, and I'm asking her to stop, right here, I'm putting up my hand in the middle of her back, making sure that she's comfortable and she stops. So she only has time to put down one foot. And you notice she's stopping directly in front of me. If I let her get through here, if I let her get through this far and she's on this side of me, it's not going to work. She needs to be in front of me. So it would be one, two, back step around, two, back step, one, back step, one, back step, one, back step, one, back step. And Stephanie had a question earlier. She said, John, what do I do with my hand? This hand right here. Because when she's coming through, what do you do with that hand? Some women like a little bit of how do we say? Drama. Drama. So you can add a little flair to it. Or you can choose to keep it here. One thing you don't want to do is in any way, shape, or form get in line with what your partner is trying to do leading you through. So if you do shoot your arm up through, you want to make sure that you bring it down so he can lead you back around. So gentlemen, the most important thing when you're trying to dance along, using your own music, using our music, using any music, is you want to find the bass line, you want to find the bass beat, you want to make sure that it's most consistent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the one. Five, six, seven, and one, two, back step, one, two, back step, one, two, back step, one, two, back step. Now if we get off track, all you want to do, gentlemen, the music does not stop, so you shouldn't stop, so just get right back on. As soon as you hear a bass beat, back step, one, two, Back step. Now I'm going to demonstrate this with Stephanie. So we will do one, two, back step, one, back step, one, back step, back step. And you notice I'm keeping her a comfortable distance away from me, as you should do with all women. <laughs> because if they get too close, they mess you up, gentlemen. That was a joke. Meant to be taken as a joke. So I'm just dancing through a couple of other things that we could do later on and a couple of other lessons. We're going to add a, one more thing onto this, and it's for the gentlemen. You can also do kicks here. I'm going to go over that in just one second. But the idea is, gentlemen, you want to make sure that you have your basic down. And your basic is one, two. Back step. One, two, back. One, two, one, back step. One, back step. One. So, gentlemen, for the flare for you, what I'm going to do is instead of doing a back rock, I'm just kicking out with my left or my right foot. So, we're going to get into our um, our stop turn or our underarm turn with a stop in it. So we're going to do one, two, back step, around, two, back step. Now right here is where I'm about to lead Stephanie through the motion, through the turn. So I'm going to lead her to step forward for one step. I'm going to put up my right hand to stop her behind her back. My hand's back here, right here, behind her back. Instead of doing my back rock or instead of stepping forward with my right foot, all I'm going to do is kick. And when I'm kicking, I want to kick below my knee and not using it way up here, but just down here so it's comfortable. Then I'm going to lead her through, and I can kick down with my other foot. And kick down, and kick down. And ladies, if you're comfortable enough with your timing, you can do it also. 
But the idea is, no matter what the gentleman's going to lead, you have to be ready for it. So it'd be one, two, back step, one, kick, one, back step, one, kick, kick. You can interchange them once you get more comfortable with it. And remember, you're just using um, two beats there. A back step is two half beats. So you have one whole beat. So just like one, two, back step, one, kick, one, kick, one, kick, back step, and then around. We're going to try that one more time. So one, two, back step, one, kick, one, kick, one, kick, kick. And the great thing about wearing shiny shoes or black and white shoes is it really shows off your feet. It makes them look a lot faster than they actually are. My feet don't move this fast normally. Just doing a couple basic moves here. But the idea is, gentlemen, he knows how I'm standing up, making sure the lady's comfortable. I'm not pushing or pulling. You don't want to get into this. That's not going to help you out. That's actually going to hurt after a while. So, gentlemen, as you're doing this basic, or as you're doing any move, keep in mind that you want to stay in front of your partner because if you try to do something, she's going to be imitating you. For instance, if I'm taking bigger steps, and if I'm making a lot of more, a lot more motion with my body, my partner typically is going to be following. Whereas if I keep it smaller, more confined, it's easier for me to lead. It's more comfortable for my partner to follow. So keep that in mind here, because if I'm running all over the place and I'm trying to do all those fancy things, see what it looks like? I'm not even on time. I was trying to demonstrate that on purpose. The idea is you want to stay on time with the music. It's not so much important having the move, because if you can't combine different moves, you're, you're not truly dancing. The idea of dancing is staying on time with the music, making sure that it feels good for both of you, not just for one of you. Gentlemen, one more thing. When you're leading your partner through, as you're leading your partner through, make sure that you do not whip around your partner. Like I said before, all you want to do is lead your partner through. So I'm actually going to lead her through and then allow her to walk through. So all my, do, my hand is as a guide. My hand is a guide there. It's not actually a lever where I'm pulling her through. It's a guide. I'm guiding her. She walks through. The only thing that's touching is our fingertips at this point in time. So keep that in mind, gentlemen. You do not want to pull or push. Another no-no is right here. She doesn't need that kickstart to get through. And your hand on her back when you are stopping her is to stop her, not to push or propel her back through. Keep that in mind. Tune back in to Let's Dance Swing. I'm your host, John Hill, my co-host, Stephanie.